I wanted to make a video um, discussing my opinions on what is considered high definition. In my opinion, the result people people get it wrong. People are like, "Oh, it's 1080p. That's high definition." <sighs> the resolution does have a role in quality, but not really. I can actually export a 480p video, and as long as I know what I'm doing, I can actually make it look just as good as any other high definition video. The resolution is just the size of of uh, the space um, that the video is in so or what you can see so a high resolution is a bigger space so you can see more so I mean if you have a low resolution on a bigger screen yeah it will look pixelated because it's stretching it but not it doesn't actually have anything to do with quality for example I have this Canon Vixia what is this HFR 500 from 2014 and this is a Canon M100 both shooting at 1080p 60fps this is the M100 this is the big I have this Canon Vixia what is this HFR 500 from 2014 and this is a Canon M100 Vixia they're both in 1080p 60 but if you notice there's a huge video quality difference for example Go watch a 1080p video from 2010 and watch a video now. As you notice, just because it says 1080p, there's a huge difference of quality. That's because the things inside the cameras have improved and the way video editing has improved. But like, I can make a 480p video look just as good by turning up the bit rate and using a better compression method, like H.265 for example. Um, and you can make it look just as good. Resolution does have a good play in it, but it doesn't always mean quality. For example, I mean, if 480p video might look bad on YouTube, but that's because if you choose a lower resolution, it YouTube turns down the bit rate. Uh, I don't know why. I think that's dumb. But if you actually download a video um, from uh, really good software that doesn't compress it or anything, from the highest quality, it will let you. Uh, like, for example, KeepVid. You can actually see that it, you know, it's actually pretty decent if you know what you're doing. So if you, I'm going to do an experiment. I'm going to make a video, or might try to. Um, maybe I should put this video in 480p and show you guys that it, there's still a huge difference as long as I upload the right bit rate. But the problem is a lot of video editors limit what bit rate you can use. Um for certain resolutions because it can get messy if you do custom resol uh, custom bit rates it can cause glitches and other things but there is a way around that so right now we're on the Canon Vixia and look I mean there's a huge difference this is the same amount of lighting and everything I'd be fair I even went out and got my light to be extra fair this is just a five-year-old wait hold on wait a minute hold on 2015 16 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh my god, this camera is actually a lot older than I thought. Oh my god, 2014 is that long ago? Oh my god. Anyway. Oh my god, it's been five years since 2016. Dude, that's scary. That is, oh my god, that's scary. Anyway. Um, yeah, so, see? The resolution doesn't really have anything to do with quality. I mean, well... That's misleading. It does have something to do with quality. It's just not as important. Like this TV I'm using is actually only 720p. So like if I go to a YouTube video and turn it up to 4K, it doesn't matter because I won't be able to notice a difference. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with using lower quality screens or anything. I mean, I'm gonna I'm not gonna replace this TV unless it's broken. I mean, it works for what I need it for. But uh. Oh, next TV I get will be OLED. But yeah, anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Peace. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with using lower quality screens or anything. I mean, I'm going to, I'm not going to replace this TV unless it's broken. I mean, it works for what I need it for. But, uh, oh, next TV I get will be OLED. But yeah, anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Peace.
See guys, huge difference. And this camera is not even that new. I'm pretty sure this camera came out in like 2017. Let me look it up. I can't wait to get the M200. It does 4K. But this is a camcorder. Um, they have it. So yeah, 2017. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I also recorded this on this camera because it's considering it's a lot older. I tried to give it the advantage, and it probably still isn't going to come close to this. I've actually recorded this one in AVC HD, which is higher quality than MP4. <clears throat> if you know what you're doing, except, okay. The problem is, MP4 can look just as good as anything. The problem is, you, it depends on what settings you have it, what compression, every, anything, everything. Like, I can make MP4 just look as good. And honestly, AVC HD is honestly not that great anyway. Considering it, it, it uses uh, files that are like outdated, like MTS. The problem with MTS files, man, every time I at least try to edit one, there's a lag. Like, I'll start recording and there'll be a lag before, for the first second of the recording, which I don't know why. Um, that's happened to all Canon cameras I've had with AVC HD. I don't know if that's a normal, but yeah, huge quality difference, isn't there? So, it depends on the, I mean, the sensor. And this thing is older and probably very small to begin with. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope this is interesting. Peace.